Coming up today on Houston Life, in honor of National Plan for Vacation Day, we've got three top travel deals for spring break and beyond. Find out how you can save money on these breathtaking locations. Plus, it's that time of year again, time for your primary care checkups. We are getting expert tips from Memorial Hermann, answering your questions for how to select the right physician. Then the Grammy Award winning Houston Chamber Choir is back. Learn how you can tune in for another free concert and Cirque Italia's traveling water circus has landed in Katy. We are getting a first look inside the big blue and white tent before this one of a kind show. All that happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC 2. Houston Life starts now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Houston Life on this Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. Derek Shore here along with, as you can see, KPRC 2's Christine Noel yes. and for Courtney today. Hi, I, Christine. I'm just so happy to be here. We're laughing because Tex is just full-blown, open legs, doesn't care. He wants the belly the rub. Life. Okay. Bro, we're on live okay. TV yeah. now. You know What's what? funny is before the show started. Oh, the spot? oh there's a spot. That's a spot. You're hitting the spot. <laughs> it is working. It's so good to see you. It is so good to see you. Text me. It's you. great to Thank see you, you as yes. well. It's great to see you Are you, you going to well. be on your best behavior? I don't think he's going to close up shop anytime soon. Uh, how have you been? I've been and so good. <laughs> I know as a dog mom, so Dara or Christine Noel mm. has Bella at home. Yes. And Bella is what, 11 or 12 years old? Bella's going to be 14 no. in August. I really think that she was like the OG of Labradoodles. Because this was like long before the whole golden doodle, labradoodle, like before it was a, yeah trendy. Look at her. Okay, that was probably that maybe seven years ago. Look at those eyebrows. I just want to boop her nose. I know boop. She has very distinguished eyebrows. Everyone loves them. She does. Oh my gosh! But you guys, she has been by my side for almost 14 years. She's definitely getting up there, which is you know kind of hard to to accept. But she has been such a dream to me. Um, she's. Don't get me wrong, like she was like the most naughty puppy. What, oh, yeah? And she still gets into things now, yeah. Even at 14? Yeah. Like, what does she get into? Yeah, so I was just telling you, you're like, how's Bella doing? I'm like, well, she literally was just in the recycle bin today. Like, we have the recycle bin. Okay, oh. this, 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 <laughs> this was a few face. years back. She ate an entire thing of Skinny Pop. Look at, look at oh that my guilty gosh. face, though. Yeah, she's yeah. very expressive. Yeah. You can tell, like, she knows she's done something oh, wrong. Oh, oh, without a doubt. She has mm. so much personality, though. And I have to tell you a quick story about when she was a puppy. Because we went to a puppy training course. And she was maybe three months old. And everyone's sitting in a circle, you know. And the, the vet trainer was like, okay, we're going to teach these puppies how to sit. Okay, and Bella's just like so rambunctious, and every other dog is like Tex just laying around. And I'm like, okay, Bella, like be a good girl. So she, the the vet takes her to the middle and says, okay, like trying to show how to teach a puppy to sit. And next yeah. thing you know, she's like, no, I'm like, no, 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 no. And she and, puked. Oh, she definitely puked. Oh wow. And I'm like. <laughs> I'm like I'm really I'm so I'm so sorry and like as a parent you're so embarrassed yeah right and then after that the trainer was like maybe maybe you should find a, a class that's better suited for you oh no and I was like Bella come on we're leaving we, yeah like, I was like personally we don't need offended this place. Um, but that that started our entire life together where we've had so much fun and she she's just She's the best, but she's pretty naughty. Well, okay. you should bring her to KPRC one day because Tex oh. gets along, I swear, unless there's something I don't know, he gets along with just about any dog out there. Oh, I, I know. Oh, DBFS. Bella would love, she loves smaller dogs. And Tex just like, hey, I'm just here. I'm just here. I'm just here. Give me be belly rubs. Hey, and, and some family news for you. I know you're super close to your grandfather. Uh, Christine shares a birthday yeah. in July with your grandfather, who you recently lost. Yeah, he was born on July 6th, and my birthday is July 8th. And for our entire lives, literally for 35 years of my life, we were able to celebrate our birthdays together. And I actually don't have a photo to show, but I do have stuff on my Facebook and Instagram. But I, I wrote this beautiful tribute to him called my birthday wish because every single birthday what I would wish for when I was blowing out the candles without telling him this because you don't share your wishes was that I would be able to have my birthday next year with him oh. you know and he he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer like three days before Christmas 
and was given 10 days to live and he lived nine. Wow. And we did have a chance, to, everyone got a chance to say goodbye to him and, and you know, it was so bittersweet, you know, because what do you say to someone when it's the last conversation you're going to have? Yeah. But it was such a beautiful thing. We had the best conversations, and it was always such a bond that we have, and we're going to have a big memorial for him over the 4th of July because that was his time. That was our time. So, That was yeah. the time you always got together, but yeah. still you're going to get together, and, yes. and you're never going to look back and say, like, oh, if only I had made more of an effort with my lovely grandfather. Without a doubt. I know you did. Without a doubt, yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, thank I, you, and I appreciate all the viewers. I was able, to, I shared that tribute on on my Facebook page, and the response that I received, like I've never felt more loved. I think that a lot of people can relate and empathize, and you know, feel a similar. Like a lot of people were like, "Oh man, like I, that reminds me of my connection with my." aunt, uncle, grandparent, you know, and I just felt a lot of love, so thank you. Well, and during COVID, things have been so different, right? I right. mean, I experienced the loss of my father a year ago. A lot of yeah. people, weddings, deaths, you got married as well, so <laughs> yes. we're all in this together, and I think your positive attitude uh, Yes, uh, volumes, well, so. he, he was so loved, and he lived a full life, almost 90 years old, so, you know, Grandpa... Cheers to Grandpa. Yeah. Cheers yeah. to you. Yeah. Well, listen, switching gears, uh, let's talk about cubicles at the office. Because let's. in the new year, I've been trying to clean out my space, make it a little nicer. Yes, me too. So on Twitter, the story kind of blew up about a brand new employee of a company. He essentially reached out to the CEO and said, hey, do you mind if I just decorate my cubicle a little bit? And the CEO said, okay, when I said yes, I wasn't expecting this. I think we have a shot of it. Yeah. This guy went on for a full rustic wow. cabin look, complete with uh, a stuffed animal, like the, the, the head of an animal hanging on, hanging on <laughs> his desk wall. And apparently the employee says he held back a little bit. He didn't. He didn't. He had a big old it. chandelier that he wanted to hang in. He was like, mm, maybe that's a little much. He did. He did. So uh, I, I actually give him kudos. Hey, I applaud that. You know, without a doubt, I love that. Yeah, and all the employees who had been working from home during quarantine, they came back to the office and they were like, wow, well this is this is really really nice. How about your uh, desk? I haven't seen it you in know, a couple it, weeks. It, you know, I there, we have a photo. I think of it. It's actually very clean right now because like New Year, New Me. I'm going to try to like keep. This is actually oh, yeah. clean uh, by my standards. No, it's. it's I have good. a little sign that says good vibes only. Okay. It kind of brings me some joy. There you go. I'm not surprised you're positive. <laughs> yes, um, but until recently, there was a bunch of little sticky notes that had um, like Japanese phrases like Ogin, Kirisuka, and Sumimasen because Keith was like, hey, we need to learn these words for when we go to Japan yeah. for the Tokyo Olympics. Oh, how nice. So I, but I just took those down recently. Well, so. post it notes, I mean, are I know yeah. they're paper. I'm trying to move away from paper. You know, just write everything digitally. I still digitally. like writing stuff down, I though. I still like, I know, I always will grab, like, a napkin. I think we have a, a shot of my workspace as well. It's a little more sparse. Very minimalist, yes. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> There's nothing. Need, there's okay. nothing there. Okay, we we need to. <laughs> we need to things. work on. That. I do have some maybe photos like some, there. Maybe a candle. Of course, Days of Our Lives is on the screen. I don't think we're allowed to uh, burn candles in the building. And if I actually no, had a window, one, I would put a plant in there. But I just have some plastic green things that are plant-like, <laughs> plant-like items. If you have a little like incense that smells like a plant. Yeah, I don't think you my know, coworkers I, I like, like can, that. Okay, well, They're like, what is that smell? Yeah. We're gonna sneeze. Okay, well, uh, Christine Noel, it is great to see you. We're glad yes, to have you here you with us for a bit me. today. But uh, don't go away, we're gonna have some more fun after the break. Still to come, could you move back in with your parents? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the celebrity getting really comfortable under mom and dad's roof. Yeah, for now though, let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who is uh, taking us on a trip to Italy this afternoon. Hey, Lauren. Wow. You guys, this is my dream. I am living it. I am part of Cirque Italia. I am part of the show, you guys. It just hit Katie, and I've got all the details on how you and the family can come see the professionals when Houston Life returns. How do I look in the ball? All right, so we all know Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, right? Yes. Two lovely people. Oh, the best. They've been together forever. So their son, Oliver Hudson, he's 45 years old. They recently, Oliver and his family, they moved back in with Goldie and Kurt because they're renovating their home. home reno? Okay. Yeah, and it turns out, he says, maybe there's a chance they won't leave <laughs> because Goldie Hawn makes breakfast every single morning. 
I guess biscuits, gravy, eggs, the whole bit. Check out this old photo from, well, a few decades ago. Oh my gosh, ago, huh? yeah. Yeah, so he's saying maybe they won't, won't leave. I think it's so sweet that they're so close as a family that they could get Oh, along. without a doubt. They probably have enough space, though, too. They're not just, like, living in a small apartment. So yeah. <laughs> they have the, the space to have their is, space. It's not But small. also, you know, and I think a lot of parents would be really happy to see their kids come back. Could you and Jesse move back in with your parents? I think... Silence. <laughs> No, but I love them. I think that we would need to like take a vacation every once in a while. So but like space. we travel with my parents. Like they're great. That's awesome. You met you met Jer and Carl. I love your parents. You know they're they're super fun. So well, I think uh, that if we just need a little more space. <laughs> but my mom is an excellent cook. She'd always do the laundry. She makes a mean. Martini, She's also so. one of my best friends. So my you know. mom for years she would ask me when I was moving back home to Salt Lake. She stopped asking me recently. Oh. Mom, what's up with that? For years, <laughs> she did. Maybe she's like, okay. Okay. You know, I, I love when you visit, but. I don't like him that much after <laughs> all. Love you too, Mom. Uh, why don't we bring in Joe Sam with our question of the day. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah, we want to hear from you. What's one thing you miss about living at home? We got those great responses coming in right now. Let's take a look at right now. We see Christina. She writes in, no bills. That's something that we can all appreciate, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Having that check come right to us. Patsy writes in, my mom's cooking. Now I'm the mom that needs to cook. Oh. LOL. Oh. I love yeah. mom's cooking. <laughs> Skipper writes in when I fell asleep on the couch, being magically <laughs> transported to my bed. Oh, yeah, that can't happen anymore. All right, to um, um, Tavika, she writes in Mississippi, farm raised catfish. All catfish are not one in the same. Mm. I've never had Mississippi farm raised catfish. Oh, sounds delicious. I know. Fry it up for me and give me a plate. Of course, you guys want you to head over to the Houston Life Facebook page, join that conversation, and we'll share more of your comments a little later in the show. Of course, we have to get here from you guys. What do you miss about being at home? I think there's so many things you can't put your finger on, just like the smell of home or even yeah. the way the water tastes out of the tap, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And you grew up in Michigan where, I mean, the great outdoors are at yeah. your fingertips. I, honestly, for me, it's like a little thing. Like, mm -hmm. I my I come from a very huggy family. And just to be able to wake up in the morning and give my mom a big hug or oh, my dad a big hug, sweet. like living away for so many years, like it's something that I cherish. But then there's like mom's cooking and just oh. being able to sit and have a glass of wine together when you want to talk. Because she's like, I'm not a phone person, so if you want to talk to me, <laughs> get on a plane and come visit. Really? Yes. You see, my mom didn't cook. So so I could never appreciate missing mom's cooking. We did the cooking for ourselves, which is how I learned how to cook. And one thing I would say I would miss is the not having to set the alarm clock because my mom would scream every morning, get up, it's time for school. <laughs> well, that's, so. that's a relaxing sound to wake up to. Good morning. Right. Wow. I'm okay. now. I'm awake. <laughs> All right, Joe. Oh, such things that I love it. miss at home. I love my mom, though. Yeah. Well, now you can don't, do the don't, for her. <laughs> don't call me and, and be mad at me, but yeah, she's going to get me for saying that. She's going to love you no matter what. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Joe. No problem. So before the break, uh, Christine, we saw Lauren Kelly living her best life. Oh, Cirque Italia's Traveling Water Circus has brought their unique show to Katie Mills to perform their first shows of 2022. And Christine, the production is the only one of its kind in the entire country. I mean, it looks amazing. And Lauren Kelly is now live under the big blue and white tent this afternoon with a special peek inside this magical dream adventure. Lauren, you literally do live your best life and I love it. I'm here for it. You guys, this is my absolute favorite day at work ever. It is so cool. We got a sneak peek of last year's show, but guess what? This circuit Italia is totally different. I'm so excited to talk to one of the guys that's putting it all together. Hi. This is Alex, and I didn't mean to dress exactly like you yeah. today. Maybe that's why you let me up in the ball, yeah, right? <laughs> so for our Houston Life viewers, why don't you tell everybody about Traveling Water Circus and what you guys are showing? Okay, Circuit Italia is a little different show. Like you see, we have this amazing water stage. It costs half a million dollars. It's only three in the world. One in Dubai, one in Vegas, and one right here in your backyard. So you can come and see it. It's Absolutely. right here. You can miss it, like We're I said. We're in the parking on the Katie Mills Mall. It's a fantastic location, and you play a big role. The ringmaster, you're a comedian. You kind of get everybody going. Yes. How many different performances are we, we going to see We have people throughout? from Brazil, Argentina, Portugal, Romania, French, Cuba, uh, Russia, and Bulgaria. Literally something yes. for everybody for in this show. And this show this year, we have a 1950s show. There's a little kid, he have a dream about 1950s. So I take him around, you will, you will see Elvis Presley songs, Marilyn Monroe, all the, the poodle dress. The poodle skirts, yes, the slick back hair, uh -huh, the T-birds. Uh -huh. I love the theme, I think and it's fantastic. You will, I mean, it's a show for the whole family, you can miss it. We have 35,000 gallons of water on the Ooh. stage. We have uh, 29 computers that do all the designs. 
Uh, Big shout names. out to Vanessa. That's her wife. She's uh -huh. up there, you know, doing it like a professional. Hey, uh -huh. don't go anywhere, Alex. We're going to talk a little bit more about uh -huh. Circuit Cali right here out in Katie Mills Mall a little bit later on in Houston Life. You guys, I know that they have a woman who performs holding it from her hair. I'm not going to do that, but we'll definitely give you guys a sneak peek a little bit later on. All right, Derek and Christine, back to you guys in the studio. I, I have more dreams to live out, you guys. She's, oh. she's a lot more. You can't do that, Lauren? Than I am flexible. No, but I'm, I'll work up to it, okay? We'll put it on the list of things to learn in 2022. <laughs> I'm just trying to sit with my back up straight, let alone those moves. Woo! Okay, Lauren, we'll check in with you later on. Ten bucks says we come back from commercial breaks, and she's like swinging. Oh, she's going to do something bins. crazy. She's going to be awesome. Christine Noel, it's always fun hanging out with Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's always a treat. Well, the news of 4 o'clock is just around yeah. the corner. Well, 40 or so minutes yeah. from now. But uh, what do you say we let you go get ready for go that do newscast? Little wardrobe change. Tex, you want to come with me, buddy? Yeah, do you want to take him? He's like, yeah, right. Yeah, maybe I'm next time. Up. Yeah, but thanks again for having me. It's great to see you. We'll yes. see you in a few minutes yeah, on, good show. on our television. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right, thanks, Christine. When we come back, how you can take charge of your health in 2022, starting with choosing a primary care physician. For now, though, let's check in with Joe Sam, who has a free event for the entire family. Hey, Joe. Yeah, that's right, Derek. The Houston Chamber Choir couldn't be more excited for in-person performances. Coming up, I'll tell you about their new concert featuring young musicians. Houston Life will be right back. We all lead busy lives, and finding time to see a doctor isn't always easy. But our next guest says preventive care is an important part of living a long and healthy life. Here with more on the benefits of having a primary care physician you can count on is Dr. Archana Vajpay, primary care physician with Memorial Hermann Medical Group. Welcome to Houston Life. Thank you, Derek. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about your expertise before we get into the benefits of a primary care physician. Let's talk about what you see day to day in your practice. Sure. I'm a family medicine. I'm board certified. So my day to day I'm seeing managing diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, but a lot of preventative care, which is probably the most single most important thing you can do to live a healthy, long life. And prevention, I mean, they always say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. The idea here is that when you're getting these regular screenings and seeing a primary care physician, you're more likely to catch a problem before it becomes a big problem. Absolutely. And I think we all need to know that you can feel great and still have high cholesterol, be pre-diabetic, and have a marginally high blood pressure. So we can't base how we feel. We need to come in, we need to get those physicals, we need to get our lab work, and um, a, a good primary care doctor can take care of all that at your annual visit. Physicals and lab work, I feel like, doctor, we can't stress this enough, especially during the pandemic, a lot of people were not seeing their doctors. We, we've seen a lot of people doing telemedicine, meeting with their healthcare providers that way, but a lot of people maybe still have not had their annual exam. So talk to us a bit more about the types of things that they can expect to have happen to the doctors when they go in. Sure. I like to tell my patients, I think of a physical exam as three parts. First part, blood work, second part, immunization, and third part, cancer screenings. Now, not every patient needs all of this, um, but that's why we talk to you about what is your age, what is your family history, and what is appropriate based on your own medical uh, history. Um, labs, we would screen for things like diabetes cholesterol problems. Um, we check your kidney test, liver test, basic set of electrolytes. Um, in women, thyroid um, testing is usually important also. Immunizations, there are many. A lot of patients forget the last time they had a tetanus. Um, we know about, obviously, COVID vaccines now, uh, our annual flu vaccine, but there's a shingles vaccine, there's pneumonia vaccine, and all those, the doctor will recommend what is needed based on your age and what your other medical conditions are. And again, when you have that primary care physician, you have a, a bigger picture, a more complete picture of your medical history. Let's talk about, uh, maybe you have advice, good questions we should be asking our primary care physicians because you were just mentioning which age to do what. I think a lot of people, especially when it comes to things like cancer, at what age should I be having a colonoscopy, for instance? Exactly. And that, um, you know, there are general guidelines, but then 
it's patient specific also in a lot of our screenings. So colon cancer, both men and women now starting at age 45 need to be screened. Uh, breast cancer screening, I discuss with my patients at age 40. Um, prostate cancer screening for men uh, could be anywhere from 40 to 45, um, depending on your race, family history. So it's important that you meet with a doctor to know exactly what screening you need when. And Dr. Vashpay, we're tight on time here, but let's say someone is new to Houston. They're looking for a primary care physician, or maybe it's just been a while since they've been to a doctor, or maybe they don't like their current doctor. What's your advice for those folks? You have to connect with your primary care doctor. I'm a firm believer of that. You have to have a connection. This is a person you get to know on a very deep level that's managing your health. Um, Memorial Hermann, we have over 200 primary care and specialty doctors. We have over 70 locations in the greater Houston area. And we also have 10 urgent care centers that you can go after hours. So going to our website, um, you're able to look at somebody who's close by, read about them. There are usually videos about the doctor. Doctor. And a lot of patients tell me, I saw your video and I felt like a connection, so I came in to see you. Well, Dr. Arshna Vajpay, thank you so much for your time. Certainly an important conversation and something we shouldn't put off. Thanks again. Thanks again. And if you would like more information, you can visit memorialherman.org slash primary dash care or call 832-658-6464. Now let's send things over to Joe Sam, who has more on an award-winning group presenting another free concert. Hi, Joe. That's the big word, right? Free, we all love hearing it. Derek, the Grammy Award-winning Houston Chamber Choir is turning the spotlight on talented young musicians. You can see them here with their upcoming concert, Hear the Future. Now I caught up with this conductor to see how she's helping helping lift their voices. It is so amazing to hear those beautiful sounds of a choir singing and performing in unison. Let's talk about the title of this actual concert. It's a play on the word, hear the future. So the future means from little to the grown-ups. It's important for us as, as musicians, professional musicians, to see the next generation coming up because we, th we think that art is very important for human life. What does it do for you in particular to continue sharing that with so many people here in the community of Houston? It's, it's, it's such a good question because just in this time, what we just went through, the kids that are going to perform fourth and fifth graders, they lost two years, uh, like everybody else. And they were desperate. And anything that would make a real make music making or anything, they would they are so happy to do. Music is a healing by definition. By feeling and learning how to uh, perform the music, they trans convey these feelings to other people. And they will never forget this experience. And these experiences is all we carry in life. We don't carry that much information, but we, we carry a heart felt experience and that's what is important in making music and i think that it's important like you said for us to continue to push this forward so that we can see where our future musicians can possibly end up and this is going to be great for everyone so thank you again for sharing some time with me and giving me more information about the choir i know it's going to be absolutely wonderful for everyone thank you so much Joe. thank you for having me Now they're going to be performing that actual performance 
at this concert, so you're going to have to go and check it out. It kicks off at 4 this coming Sunday at South Main Baptist Church. For more information, I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Like I said earlier, the big word about this year is that it's free, so everyone can get out there and go and check out these amazing young musicians, just perform and have a good time up there. They are so talented, and I agree with their, uh, with their director. Music is healing. We love it. Very, Love very being healed. Nice. <laughs> All right, coming up on Houston Life. Have you been putting off home improvement projects? It's okay, don't worry if you have. Yeah. We're, we're going to share why the new year is the perfect time to jump on brand new flooring trends. Absolutely. Plus, we'll get a check of what's coming up for the News at 4, including a warning about at home COVID test kits. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Derek Shore here, along with Joe Sam joining me now at the sofa. Yeah. It is 3.31 p.m. And a lot of people have been commenting on our Facebook page about this question that we gave you guys. We asked you, of course, what is something that you miss about living at home? We're going to get to those comments right now because so many people are giving it to us today. Casey writes in, getting the chance to sit down with my family all together and talk about silly things. When everyone grows up and gets busy with school and work, it's not the same anymore. It's so true. Life just gets busier <laughs> and busier. Nancy he writes in, my parents lived in a big house with a beautiful yard and a patio with a built-in barbecue pit. Ooh, Ooh, sounds good so far. The tree that grew over the patio was such a great tree. My husband and I were married Aww, there. Continue to make so those nice. family memories. I love that, Nancy. And Amy writes in, having someone taking care of me and me not having a care in the world. No bills, no work, just school and fun. I'm with you on that. That's something I'll always miss and hope to get back to it soon. Goes by lightning <laughs> speed. You know, every time I visit my mom, I feel feel bad about all of the little twigs that I planted in her yard. There, I'm telling you, there was this little twig, like a stick I planted in her yard. It's like 60 feet high now. Oh, it wow. I mean, it's you know, it's a great tree. It's beautiful, yeah. but there were a couple more. I know, Beatrice, it's true. It's true. <laughs> and she's sweet. My mom was like, thank you for planting these massive trees that drop so many leaves. I don't know what to do. Hey, provide some good shade, though, because in Louisiana, we need that shade. In Texas, same thing is here because it is gets so hot during the summer. It's so true. You want that shade. So yeah. good for you planting those trees. I love your optimist. It provides a bit of shade on the house, lowers your energy bills. You're love welcome, it. Mom. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Why don't we check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up at 4 o'clock. And wow, Christine, you did do that She's wardrobe change. Quick. Really quick. Almost tripped <laughs> on my way, but I'm here. No. Superwoman going to her booth. I, it's, that, it's that telephone booth, Derek. <laughs> I, know, I am still I am still waiting for my chance to get into that telephone. Right, we need to find this. The door's always locked. I can't get in. I've tried it. <laughs> she has a special key. <laughs> what, what is something that you miss from being at home? Um, not much. Whoa. Oh. Well, no. no like mom's home cooking. Or? I, I, my, my grandmother. I, my gra I was raised in my grandmother's yeah. house. She's the most amazing human being I've ever met in my life, and I miss her dearly. So I do. I miss, yes, yeah, yes. You just miss, miss the hugs. And yeah, yeah, just yeah, the wisdom, the hugs, the you know. Uh, you for you never know. So I, I'm Keith. Yeah. Never in my life did she ever call me Keith. I was always Keats or Keatsy boy. That was my name. Keatsy boy. So there we go. Right, look, All right. Make the that's, note. That's gonna say so boy. I, I miss being called Keatsy boy. That's yes. Well, okay, Keatsy we'll leave it that's there. That's what we're gonna start calling you now, Keith, from now on. I know. Keith, Keatsy boy. That's Frank, so what about you? You know, I always felt so safe at home. I would sleep and sleep and sleep. And somebody said, "Well, you relax at home." Yeah. Like when I would visit from college and, and what? Yeah, yeah, good point. Because you just feel like you don't. Yeah. You, uh, as someone said, the worries aren't there. Yeah. Mom and dad will take care of it no matter what. Or yeah. you parted so much when you were in college that you came back you need to recuperate that might be it <laughs> and you know there's food in the fridge because you're not the only one living there oh. i love it i like the i like the food i'll say that <laughs> yeah. my mom was a great cook yeah, yeah. yeah. we it. love that we there love you that. go Yes, well, uh, you can do a lot of cooking inside uh, because of this rain that we... Actually, the rain's actually out now, right? <laughs> Look at this. But it's cold that outside, though. I just put this in because we finally got a, at least a little hope going on. A glimmer. On. There we go. A glimmer of hope. And even this uh, shot here even has a little brightening sky across the downtown area. So skies are starting to clear a little bit, and that's going to continue as we go into this evening and the overnight. Temperatures holding steady in the upper 50s across the board pretty much right now. And there's actually a front. There's no rain with this, but there are cool reinforcements on the way. So we may not even get to 59 tomorrow. We may get close, but uh, even with sunshine, this cooler air is on the way. I'm enhancing that so you can see the cloud cover even a little better. But there are some breaks and we're getting a few of those. It'll get out of here as we go into the overnight. 57 at 4 about where we are now. 56, 56, 56. It just stays right there. This is Teddy Dog, by the way, who I know no care in the world from Teddy Dog. That is for sure. 
In the meantime, lows overnight really depends on the clearing, but certainly some mid 30s, Huntsville, Livingston, Conroe, then upper 30s from Bush to Liberty, and then low 40s to some mid 40s down toward Angleton. But it's going to be a chilly morning to wake up to. And then highs tomorrow, 57, 58, maybe a lot like today, but tomorrow the difference is going to be a lot of sunshine because the skies are going to clear. More jackets continue. We'll talk about how long coming up at four and our next rain chance. I'll have all of that straight ahead. Yeah, the sun makes all the difference, though. Mm -hmm. All the difference. Just an attitude. Alone. I know, without a doubt. Frank, thank you. All right, here are some of the other stories we're covering at 4 o'clock today. A breaking news involving the man accused of injuring a Houston police canine over the weekend who eventually bonded out of jail. That man, 26-year-old Ryan Smith, led police on a chase this morning and then was on the run. He has just been arrested in Waller County. Detectives now want to question Smith about his father's death. We'll have those breaking developments. And doctors in some states have a new warning for parents about those at-home COVID test kits that are being shipped to millions of homes across the U.S. Their message, keep your kids away from them. We're going to let you know what to do if your child drinks the liquid inside of one of those containers in the tests. And a dramatic moment caught on camera as police officers lift a car off a woman. This happened in Delaware. We'll let you know what came just before the almost superhuman rescue and how that woman is doing this afternoon, you guys. Pretty Ooh, remarkable. Wow. Yeah, that is tough to look at, but mm. fingers crossed she makes a full recovery. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys. Keep you boy. We'll see you guys <laughs> at four. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> All right, moving on, you guys. If it's a home transformation that you're after, the new year is the perfect time to take advantage of reinventing your space. And installing new flooring may be just what you need to revamp the look of your home. Maria, I see you brought some carpet samples uh, for me today, extra yes. samples. Before we get into the process of how 50 Floor does things a whole lot differently and affordably, right. let's talk about carpet and trends that you see in homes. People still love carpet. They do. You know, we tend to think that it's outdated. It's really not very, you know, I, I guess for allergies or for any kind of allergens in the home that it's not a good idea. But that is not the case with new technology that has come such a long way. New fibers, new dyes that are being used. Now you can even consider carpet to be eco-friendly. And look at all the different options that you have. This is probably uh, something that you could use in a uh, high traffic area because you don't have as much of, see how I can rub my hand on it and you yeah. don't really see the pattern of the feet going back and forth maybe. You can also use it in an office, but bedrooms, that is still, the trend is still leaning towards carpet because it is kind of just, you know, cozy and it has that warm feeling for a bedroom. So that is still very much a trend. Or for a nursery. I mean, it's nice to go. also like step out of bed onto carpet. Yes. I love that carpet has come such a long way too because it used to be, well, I know shag was a big thing back right. in the 70s, but we just had like like regular carpet growing mm -hmm. up and you either had regular carpet or you had Berber, right? Yes. But there's so many options to choose from. All right, so let's right. talk about the process. Carpet, sure. tile, hardwood flooring, engineered wood flooring, luxury vinyl. At 50 Floor, you really offer it all. Let's talk about this, this process of sure. how uh, it's selected, your selections happen, and also how the install happens, because this is sure. kind of magical news. It's pretty uh, unbelievable. You know, most people think, oh yeah, I've been to your store. No, folks, we don't have a store. 50 Floor comes to you, brings the store, the storeroom, as we say, to your room. And because we don't have that overhead, we can really slash prices, but it's still very high-end quality material. So we're going to help you select the right flooring for your home, depending on your lifestyle, on your budget, and of course on what you like and what your home looks like. But that's why it's so important that you have it right there in the comfort of your own home. Well, I've been to some of these stores where they have the flooring samples set out, and yes. it's it's overwhelming right? to say the least. So you're still going to have a ton of options in your home, hundreds and hundreds of options to choose from, correct? But right. because you're in your own space, you're going to be able to make a decision that is better for your house. Right, because it, it does make such a difference. To You go to the store and you get one or two or maybe ten if you're lucky of these small samples. samples. But it certainly is not the same as if you can go, hey, wait a minute, let me see what my pillows look like or what my cushions look like in my bedroom or in my nursery versus the decor in your home and the light. Do you have a lot of light or do you have maybe just very dim lighting? That makes a difference in what your floor will look like. And that's why us being in your home or our experts being in your home will really give you a different idea of what that floor will look like in that space. What it'll look like and also how you live your life, right? Because depending on whether you have 
children or pets who, who lives in the home? Do you yes. have wet areas that you need to protect? Those are all taken into consideration. Right. We're going to talk to you. So you're going to have somebody right there. And this is all, you can have a free consultation. So this is all part of the process. So once you've chosen what you want, again, according to your lifestyle, your budget, then we're going to come in and install it for you. And I know you love this, right? Because you, we come in and we move everything out of the way. And we're not going to make you do anything at all. We're going to take care of that kind of hassle that for a lot of people they don't like. And then we're going to go ahead and remove that old flooring. We're going to inspect that subflooring and make sure that everything is okay. Then we're going to put down that new floor and that can usually only take one day. So people are just in awe that really what? I can have new floor in one day? It's incredible. Don't uh, bite off that big home improvement project on your own. <laughs> Maria, it's great to see you. Thanks. Thank you so much. 50 Floor does have a special offer for Houston Life viewers. If you call within the next hour, you can receive free installation. You can also use the promo code Houston Life to get an extra $100 off your order. Call 877-50-FLOOR. That's 877-503-5667 or visit 50floor.com. Coming up, vacation is calling three travel <laughs> deals to help you book your next trip for less. Oh, we like that. Plus, stay right there. More Houston Life returns when we come back. Well, if you need an excuse to book a fun and relaxing getaway, we've got you covered because today, if you didn't know, is National Plan for Vacation Day. Travel expert Gabe Saglier joins us now with three regional, domestic, and international options for spring break and beyond to help get us started. Gabe, it's good to see you. you got it all covered, my friend. Yes, great to see you. National Plan for Vacation Day. So I didn't know this was a thing, but apparently it started back in 2015. 2015. And the purpose was to ensure that we all use every last vacation day because it turns out people don't. A lot of us leave a lot of paid vacation days on the docket. I and mean, in fact, only 25% of us uh, used up all our vacation days in 2021. Most of us left about five vacation days that we could have taken and been paid for it and we just did not. And part of the problem is, is we just don't plan ahead. Even I was scrambling in December and I travel for a living. I was scrambling in December to try to figure out how I'd use all my vacation days. So uh, that's data from the U.S. Travel Association. But this is an industry-wide push. A little self-service we would love to see people traveling, feeling comfortable with traveling again. But because everybody's comfort levels are different, we've got a couple of options here that'll keep you close and, and or could take you far away. Just the word planning, though, Gabe. I mean, especially during COVID, a lot of people have had vacation plans on hold. Yes, right. Uh, I mean, it seems like the news changes every single day. But if you're thinking about traveling this spring or the summer, you say the time to plan is right now? Yeah, listen, there's a, a window of opportunity right now because we're anticipating that by mid-February, we're going to see a, a sort of a burst in domestic travel travel booking activity. Mid-March, we'll see some more of international travel booking pick up. In fact, there's some figures that came out last week. Uh, airfare is expected to go up every month 7% so that by April, we're back to 2019 uh, airfare levels. So that means that right now there's this window that if you're feeling comfortable enough, whether it's, you know, flying, you know, south to uh, just, you know, San Antonio or south of the border or around the globe, there are some options out there. You know, the fact that the, on international travel, uh, it's not expected to get back to pre-pandemic levels of 2024. So there, that's a, a bargain opportunity. A little in, more in wiggle ways. room there. Yes. However, everybody's comfort levels are different. I tend to be a little bit more bullish than my wife. So we we sort of meet in the middle. Okay. You know? Compromise is a good thing. Sure. The first uh, property you have on your list is just down the road in San Antonio. So if you don't want to fly, you can take a little You can trip. drive. In fact, this is an offer that includes valet parking. And I've stayed at this pl property, the Hotel Contessa. Um, yeah, it's a four diamond all suite uh, hotel and it's right on the river walk. So, you know, as a lot of us begin to emerge from what I'm calling the COVID cocoon, uh, we want to visit a place that's familiar, that we feel comfortable. Uh, and if it's San Antonio for you, this puts you right in the heart of the uh, city. You're a couple of blocks from the Alamo. You can do that quintessential San Antonio thing. Uh, some great dining along here as well. Price points here, if you go right now, between now and the end of February, about 159 a night. Better rates and better availability midweek. Uh, March, that rate does jump up to 199. Uh, and then if you wait till summer, that 
rate will drop back down. So, um, you know, affordability for what's an all uh, sort of a four diamond all suite. I like the all suite idea because plenty of elbow room when you check in. Yeah, that's so true. And it includes valet parking, which is exactly huge, right. Because we know hotels charge an arm and leg for that. Yes, sir. Okay, number two is down in the Florida Keys. A little tougher to get to, but so beautiful. Uh, I was just a flight for this one, unless you like road tripping. Uh, but when we asked our members a couple of weeks ago, where do you want to go in 2022? Florida was number one on the list. Uh, California two, Hawaii three. Hmm. So clearly beaches are going to be big this year. Okay. If you're planning a beach getaway, if you're planning Florida, you've got to start booking these now because they will be hot. Uh, this is uh, the Florida Keys, a marathon uh, about an hour from uh, Key West, about a two hour drive from Miami. Uh, I love this property, the Faro Blanco Resort and Yacht Club. They got a marina there. They've got uh, that uh, lighthouse is a converted uh, restaurant uh, with great ocean views. Beautiful. Uh, it's just a great resort. Um, the fact is that Florida prices will continue to dip as you head towards summer. So if you go now, uh, you'll uh, pay about two seventy nine a night for this property. You wait till July into October, you're paying one seventy nine a night. So waiting a little bit will save you some money. But you want to book now because a lot of these sort of early summer dates, as soon as school is out, will get gobbled up pretty quickly. Okay, very quickly, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Uh, this is great. And actually, I was here a couple of months ago. Highly recommend the Hacienda del Mar. This is in a place called uh, Cabo del Sol, between wow. Cabo San Lucas, sort of the buzzier part of that area, and San Jose del Cabo, which is a little bit more laid back. Uh, very popular with golfers here. Uh, but you're right on the water, multiple restaurants here. Um, I got to say, if for folks who've traveled south of the border, you probably noticed they're, they're sticklers for protocols around, uh, you know, mask wearing. Mm -hmm. It's super clean. I mean, the, 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 these properties get a lot of high marks for playing by the rules uh, and keeping everybody feeling safe. Also, you get the COVID test on site every day. So when you need to upload that for your reservation and your flight back home, uh, easy to do. Three nights all inclusive for two, eight ninety nine. dollars And I did this exact same deal a few months ago with my wife, and we booked it almost immediately for a return this year because we liked it, you loved that, it much. that much. Yeah. Great that spot. That is jaw-droppingly beautiful. Yeah. Gabe Saglia, great to see you. I can see, see you. you there. I can see you there. I, I'm imagining myself <laughs> right now. I'll be booking it right after the okay, show. There you Thank go. you so much for your time. We love it. For a link to all these deals, head on over to our website, HoustonLife.tv. Okay, what do you say we check back in with Lauren Kelly, who is uh, getting a sneak peek of a pretty cool performance today. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Are you swinging from the big top you yet? You guys! I was trying to work on my bungee. It just didn't work out for me. So I'm going to let Antonio do it. And that segment is coming up. We'll give you a little sneak peek of Circa Talia when Houston Life returns. He's so limber. now here in Katy. It's a traveling water circus unlike anything, I can guarantee you anything you have ever seen before. It's a one-of-a-kind show. People and performers from all over are incredible. And that is Antonio up there. He is the bungee act. Alex, you are really the ringmaster, the leader of the night. Once again, give our viewers a little bit of an overview of what the water yeah, show like is I, like. Yeah, like I told you in the beginning, we have a uh, rock and roll system right now it's, it's a 1950 so okay. you will see it a lot of you see lights colors even dancing. the floor even the stage even up the here. stage yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> you have the stage the costume as soon as you walk in in the show you will see everything is 1950 the guys the oceans the concession people right right so oh. we we see antonio he's got a bungee act we saw your wife vanessa she's in the ball what other kinds of acts are there well we have jugglers we have uh archie it's antonio also but okay. his wife uh really really he shoot a little apple like you see in the movies oh. Oh, yeah. for real, you won't miss it. Oh my goodness uh, gracious. <laughs> well, you guys have such an eclectic performance. It's really amazing. And I love that you are in Katie Mills. It's a perfect location under the blue and white tent. Yep. It's super easy to get tickets. You're going to be here through Sunday. Yes. I put a link up at HoustonLife.tv. Are these all evening shows? No, we have a, yeah, we have a show tomorrow at 7.30. All the way to Friday, we have 7:30 shows that day. Saturday we have 1:30, 4:30, and 7:30. Sunday is our last day. We have 1:30 show and 4:30. Okay, and awesome. I'm going to be training with you for the next time you're in town. I'm going to be part of this circus. Thank you for letting us in today. This has been coming. such a blast. Again, all the info at HoustonLife.tv. And one more time for uh, Antonio, who's up in the air and then back down on the ground. Oh, there's so many things I want to try, you guys. I'm really thinking about joining the circus. Derek and Joe. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, that made it's me sad. just a little bit nervous there, Lauren. It is super <laughs> cool, though. Love it, love it. So exciting. Very nice. All right, after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show when we bring the bar to you. I love the sound of that. And as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight, including a former teen heartthrob who is off the market now. Hey, Kevin. Joe and Derek, you and all the fans of Twilight need to tune into ET tonight because we have Taylor Lautner talking about his engagement. Plus, Tiffany Haddish is dishing on her biggest high school regrets. That's tonight at 6:30 right here on KPRC2. But don't go anywhere. Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, how about bringing the gym to your home? We've got easy, low-impact bar exercises to define your glutes and thighs. Best part, you don't need any special equipment. And, of course, we're catching up with Texans football safety Justin Reed as he tackles a new business venture. That's going to be exciting. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. I know, Joe, you were hoping for a different kind of bar. Yeah, I, I was going to say for that was not what show. I was expecting. But listen, Britt, Brittany, uh, you're going to meet her tomorrow. She used to be a professional dancer in New York City. Oh, wow. What's great is during COVID, a lot of people have had to rethink the way they work out. So I'm telling you, you could grab a little bar stool and within just a couple minutes, she's going to have us all sweating. You're going to love this, Joe. It. Not going to wear a sweater, though. Yeah. Yeah. OK. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks so much for joining us today on Houston Life. We're going to send it on over to Keith and Christine in Studio A. I'm just dying over t Texas hair. <laughs> Tex, Tex looks like uh, he just woke just, up from a you know long a, night, perhaps. You know? Puppy hair don't care. He's yeah. going to the you groomers know? tomorrow. He's going to be all nice and fluffy. He's like, listen, it's almost Wednesday. I'm just getting through the week like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Great to see you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. You too.